Good morning, everybody. It's Dave here. Welcome to Holiday for Two. And I got to start off by saying I hope you had a Merry Christmas yesterday. And next week is New Year's. 2023 is coming. Here's a salute to 2022 and a salute to 2023 coming up soon. I don't know where you plan to be for New Year's, but wherever you are on New Year's, whether you're with friends or family, be safe and have a safe New Year's Eve. It's always a fun time of the year to celebrate, but just be careful because there's lots of crazy drivers out there. So if you can be somewhere camping with friends and family or you're at home with friends and family, enjoy it and have a great time, but do be safe and be careful. Mm. This is a new coffee we're trying. It's called Blueberry Crumb Cake. It's really, it's really good. Blueberry Crumb Cake. Mm. It's kind of new, so we're just trying it out. Um, it's very good. Today I'm going to be talking about some of our favorite camp spots, paid camp spots in Arizona for 2022. And I'm going to share a couple of those and why we like to go there and what we think about them and why we plan to go back there next year. And so here are some of our favorite campsites for Arizona. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell on the side. That way you get notified when I put out more videos in the future. And I'm doing this video before Christmas, so I did want to say have a good Christmas, but it is actually before Christmas right now. But I know that when this video drops, uh, it'll be on a Monday right after Christmas. So I do hope you had a good Christmas. So Arizona campground favorites of 2022. Let's take a look at them. Here we go. Oh, just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. All right, well, let's, let's talk about our favorite camp spots. Last week's video was our favorite boondocking spots in Arizona. We have a lot of places that we like to go boondock. But there are some campgrounds in Arizona that we really do like to go to. And they're paid campgrounds. And, but they're usually very reasonable. I'm going to start with, a, I wrote them all down so I would, can tell you a little bit about them and why we like them. Our first favorite campsite is, of course, one that we go to a lot. White Spar in Prescott, Arizona. White Spar Campground in Prescott, Arizona is about 100 miles north of Phoenix on Highway 89. You can go two ways. You can go through Prescott or you can come up the back way through Yarnell, uh, Congress and Yarnell, that, the back way on Highway 89. However, I do recommend if you have a big motorhome, don't come the back way because it, there's a couple of steep spots and steep grades to climb. Otherwise, you could do it in a van or a Jeep, truck, camper, things like that. Why do we like White Spar? What is it about? We go there a lot. First of all, we have family that live in Prescott. And anytime you have a campground near family, that's always a great campground. There are a couple of spots that we picked out that we really like. And we have a 25 foot class C. If you have a class A or a, a, one of the a long fifth wheel trailer, there are some campsites that are well suited for those links. Check out my video on White Spar Campground, and I do show some of the campsites that you can see on the video. So go back and check that. I do mention which ones are good for long rigs. But we like it because it's close to town. Uh, it's close to family, like I said, in the proximity to Prescott. And you know, one of the things about Prescott is the weather there almost is perfect year round. And I'm not exaggerating. I know people say, all oh, right, yeah. The weather in Prescott is just about year-round nice. There are a few times in the summer, and I want to say like July, late July, August, early September, when it can get warm. There are times in Prescott where it can get up into the hundreds, but that is very, very rare. It's kind of an exception. The average summer temperature in Prescott might get as hot as 89, 90 degrees, but it does cool down at night. So like I said, July, there will be some times in July and August when it might get warm. And of course, this time of year in the winter, it can get cold. In fact, today, uh, when I'm recording this right now, they just had two inches of snow in Prescott this morning. So it does snow there and it can get chilly. 
There are other campgrounds around Prescott, so be sure to check out some of my other uh, videos on Prescott. Uh, Year-round, like I said, kayaking, hiking, and there are also certain times of the year when they have big events on the weekends, festivals and arts and craft shows. The arts and craft shows typically will run Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, at least Saturday and Sunday. If it's a three-day weekend, it might even run until Monday. But Prescott is famous for having lots of big uh, weekend events, especially in the summertime. So check out Prescott, Arizona. A lot of fun, year-round fun and entertainment. Next on our list of favorites is Lake Pleasant, Arizona, especially Desert Tortoise Campground. There are other videos that I, we posted on YouTube um, and shared about Desert Tortoise Campground, so be sure to check those out. But why do we like Lake Pleasant? Well, there's two different campgrounds at Desert Tortoise. There's the paid campground where you pay and you get power hookups. Those are a little harder to get into. They run about $35 a night for 30 amp hookups. But you got to re reserve those at least five or six months ahead of time because they are so popular, especially in the summertime like May, April, May, and June, they're going to be packed. But there's another campground that we like that's down a little bit lower than that. Just a, it's a down a little bit lower from the top campground where they don't have hookups at Desert Tortoise uh, Campground. They call it the Scoot Loop, I believe is the road that it's on. And all of those campsites run about $20, but they don't have any hookups. But you are close to the water. That's the great thing about it. If you get the lower loop, like Scoot Loop, and you get one of those spots, April and May, oh, it is just perfect. March even can be perfect. The weather can be warm enough to get in the water, do some paddle boarding or kayaking, and yet the water level at Lake Pleasant in March and April, and even May, the water level is up to the top. So they fill it all the way up to the top. So those campgrounds at the scoot loop you're going to be within a few feet away from the campsite the campsite will be just a few feet away from the water at the lake and you can throw your line in and fish or swim or kayak and things like that so it's a great spot we love it be sure to go up north of phoenix on highway 74 and then turn up on castle hot springs road and come in to the maricopa county entrance for pima or for maricopa county entrance for lake pleasant uh, if you don't want to camp at Lake Pleasant, you just want to go for the day, they have lots of daytime activities as well, places where you can set up and get in the water. Number three on our list, Buckskin Mountain State Park. We've been there uh, once. We really loved it. We want to go again. It's the thing about Buckskin that makes it really nice is it's right on the Colorado River. There are, if I remember right, I did a video on Buckskin Mountain State Park, so check it out. I believe there was like 60 campsites there, maybe more, and they had hookups, 30 amp, water, a dump station. They also have a boat ramp. So if you're towing a boat behind your camper, uh, you can put it in right there at Buckskin Mountain State Park and put it in the water. I recommend getting there, uh, making reservations. I, the price at Buckskin, I want to say, was $35, but that includes the hookups, the dump station. They have a little store there, and you're still close to Parker. So if you need supplies, you can run into Parker, Arizona and get supplies. Paddle boarding, fishing, water activities. If you have a boat, of course, your boat ramp is right there. Hiking, off-road exploring. It's close to the desert bar, so if you have a Jeep or a four-wheel drive vehicle, or a vehicle that's capable of going off-road. The road isn't too bad, but take a trip out to the Desert Bar near Parker, Arizona on the Parker Strip. It's not too far from Buckskin Mountain State Park. It's worth a day trip out there. Uh, the summertime is closed, but in the wintertime they're open. They have lunches, they have live music in the afternoons. It's a great little spot to check out. The Desert Bar near Parker, Arizona and Buckskin Mountain State Park. And finally, number four on my list is Gilbert Ray Campground. We just did a video on Gilbert Ray. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it, but I do want to say it is one of Arizona's best camping bargains at $20 a night. It has hookups available for $20 a night. 
They have a dump station. They have water available. They don't have showers, but they have nice uh, flushable restrooms. Uh, I know somebody did comment that they didn't like the fact that it didn't have showers. And th to be honest with you, there's not very many campgrounds in Arizona that do have hot showers. And you can find that by going down to Tucson and either coming uh, off the Highway 86, which is called Ajo Road, or you can come from Sandario Road, which go through Marana and come south on Sandario Road and turn in. Uh, that's another way to get to it. Just put it on your Google Map search and you'll find it that way. Gilbert Ray Campground has over 100 spots available, 30 amp hookups, water, dump station, nice restrooms, but no showers. But at $20 a night, that is a good deal. There are very few campgrounds that we've ever been to where you can get showers and all those facilities for $20 plus hookups. And so it's a nice campground to go to. It's close in proximity to some of the popular spots around Tucson that people like to go to in the wintertime. So if you're coming from out of state, you're taking a trip to Arizona, be sure to hit Tucson. Look for Gilbert Ray Campground. It's close to the Desert uh, Sonoran Desert Museum. It's close to Old Tucson. It's also close to Tucson. If you have a vehicle with you that you're towing, you can detach your tow vehicle and then make trips all around. There's even a really cool spot to go to. I don't know if it's open, but definitely check and see if it is. It's the uh, observatory. Kitt Peak National Observ Observatory is just west of Gilbert Ray Campground, probably about 45, 50 mile drive, but it's worth a day trip to go up there to the observatory. But check ahead of time and make sure they're open. That's the observatory that's up at about 6,500 feet. It's also ran, uh, partially ran by the University of Arizona. And they have tours, they take tours through there. They also have a star show that you can watch in one of their little theaters there. It's really neat. What do they call the, oh, the planetarium show. It's really interesting check it out all right well i hope you enjoyed this recap of some of our favorite campgrounds that tammy and i have enjoyed going to in this last year in 2022 and some of the you can probably tell what some of my uh requirements are things that i enjoy in campgrounds i always like to look for campgrounds that are close to either where we live or close to family or campgrounds that have reasonable rates we have been to some campgrounds that are outrageous and i mean really outrageous and have very little to show for the um, price that you pay enjoy yourself you come to arizona check out some of those campgrounds there's a lot of great camping in arizona both blm camping dispersed camping and campground camping so whatever your whatever suits your fancy come to arizona you'll find it in arizona and this is the time of year that's really great time to be here, especially in the desert because the weather is perfect. Well, today's a little cool, but generally the weather's perfect year round. And even in the summertime, it can get hot, but you always go to the mountains in the summertime. So have a great week. Remember, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, and ring that little bell so that you'll be notified when I put out videos in the future. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, be safe wherever you're going. Catch you guys later in the new year with our new travels. Have a great day and a great new year. Bye.